The Lost Planet is a 1953 Columbia Pictures 15 chapter serial which has the distinction of being the last interplanetary themed sound serial ever made. It was directed by Spencer Gordon Bennett with a screenplay by George H. Plimpton and Arthur Howell, who also wrote for Rocky Jones, Space Ranger. It appears to have been planned as a sequel to the earlier chapter play Captain Video, Master of the Stratosphere and shares many plot points, props and sets, as well as some of the same cast. However, the Video Rangers do not appear, and their uniforms are instead worn by slaves. Created electronically by Rekov, the dictator of the Lost Planet Gene Roth with the help of mad scientist Dr. Grud Michael Fox and enslaved Good scientist Professor Dawn Forrest Taylor. Topic: <laughs> Plotline. Dr. Ernst Grud has succeeded in winning control over the planet Ergro as the first step in his desired conquest of the universe. Reporter Rex Barrow, his photographer Tim Johnson, Professor Edmund Dawn and his daughter Ella are all captured by Grud, who plans to make use of the Professor's knowledge. With the help of the Professor's inventions, Rex is able to free Ergro of Grud's domination, while Grud is sent on an endless voyage into space. Cast <laughs> <laughs> Judd Holdren as Rex Barrow Vivian Mason as Ella Dawn Michael Fox as Dr. Ernst Grud Forrest Taylor as Professor Edmund Dawn Jean Roth as Rekov Ted Thorpe as Tim Johnson Carl Killer Davis as Carlo, a.k.a. Robot R4 Jack George as Java Frederick Burrist as Alden John L. Kaysen as Hopper Lee Roberts asterisk as Wesley Bren, a.k.a. Robot R9 Nick Stewart as Dahl Leonard Penn as Ken Wappler Joseph Mell as La Although the screen cast lists I. Stanford Jolly in the role of Wesley Bren. He is obviously not playing the part, Lee Roberts is. Jolly, in fact, does not appear at all in this film, unlike the Captain Video serial, The Lost Planet has a female character, Professor Dawn's daughter Ella Vivian Mason, who strides about the Lost Planet Bronson Canyon in a fetching female version of the Video Ranger uniform. The hero is not Captain Video, but a newspaper reporter, Rex Barrow, played by Judd Holdren, who had previously played Captain Video and Commando Cody. Books on the sound serials generally conclude that this is one of the worst serials ever made, but it still has points of interest. The bizarre performance of Michael Fox 1921 as the villainous Dr. Grud is particularly memorable. This is one of Fox's first screen roles. He went on to a long and distinguished career as a character actor in dozens of feature films and hundreds of TV series right up to his final illness and death. Topic. Production The Lost Planet was the last of only three science fiction serials released by Columbia. This serial was, despite the characters' names, essentially a sequel to Captain Video, from which stock footage was taken for this serial. It was originally known as The Planet Men. Michael Fox recalled that writer George Plimpton would deliberately write lines that he thought the actors couldn't say, such as the atom propulse set up a radiation wall which cut off the neutron detonator impulse. Topic: Critical reception. In the opinions of Harmon and Glut, The Lost Planet is a rather shoddy, low-budget space cliffhanger. Topic: Chapter titles Mystery of the Guided Missile Trapped by the Axial Propeller Blasted by the Thermic Disintegrator The Mind Control Machine The Atomic Plane Disaster in the Stratosphere Snared by the Prismic Catapult Astray in Space The Hypnotic Ray Machine To Free the Planet People Doctor. Grid defies gravity. Trapped in a cosmo jet. The invisible enemy. In the grip of the de thermo ray. Sentenced to space source. Topic. 
See also List of film serials List of film serials by studio